listen, I know I've been uh, missing in action. I haven't been missing in action on my main channel. In fact, probably some videos that I would have put on this channel, I actually been putting on my main channel because honestly, I haven't had any content for the main channel. I mainly post uh, mobile home tours over there and stuff around the house, but I haven't been able to get out and record any videos because uh, I've just been tired, y'all. I've been tired and it's just been a lot of stuff going on. So I'm out of home tours. And so I've just been like cooking and doing different stuff around the house and posting those on the main channel. So that's why I've been missing in action. How you doing? Okay. I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to my video. <laughs> I walked out to the mailbox and I was talking to the camera and somebody was walking down the street. He was smiling. He was probably laughing at me talking to myself. <laughs> so anyway, today is Wednesday and I go back to work today. So I just been getting some time in the ministry and um, getting ready to do a little cleaning up around the house so the house can be straight before I go back to work. And I want to turn the camera on and share some good news with you. So, okay. Hope you can see me. Put a little sugar free syrup in my coffee. I'm using pumpkin caramel and I'm going to do some French vanilla. I really want an iced coffee. I haven't taken my medicine today. So as I was saying, my husband has an interview today. It's with the transportation team. Um, I came on and found out that they were still hiring. So my husband's goal was to try to get on that team as quickly as possible. Honestly, he the shipping dock is a lot. It's That should be just for the young guys because there's a lot of walking. There's a lot of movement, bending, lifting. And my husband's 57 years old, you guys. He's had knee surgery. It's just a lot. It's a lot on him. So he he's not afraid of hard work. Y'all know my husband works all the time. But he'd rather do something that will highlight his skills, right? More so than the busy work on the shipping dock. So he has an interview today, um, and he's super nervous. I'm super nervous. Now, I'm not super nervous. I take that back. I'm kind of confident. I'm kind of confident. Nervousness will, will, will probably set in. I'm anxious. That's the word. Nervousness will probably set in closer to his interview. Uh, I'll be walking out the door to go to work. His interview is at 5.15. Um, and I, I normally leave the house about 6, 6.30. So I'll be dressed and ready to go. Um, but right as his interview is ending. Um, he has all kind of notes uh, up on. Here, let me show you. It's so cute. He has all kind of notes up on the wall. <laughs> and so that when he's sitting there on the interview, he can, can you see him? See those papers? See there? Keywords that he wants to use, how he can stay on track for, with his examples. And he even has, questions that he wants to ask after the interview can you see it <laughs> so he's getting himself prepared he's out doing a job today um right now a uh, big yard that he needed to get cut but he should be back maybe in about an hour or so and then he's gonna relax um and do a little practice again for the interview before it's time to do it so so yeah that's what's going on around the Vaughn household. He is, I'm so confident. I, 
just a part of what I envision for us as a family. It's what I've been praying for, and I can't wait to hopefully share some good news with you um, regarding the outcome. So... <music> Good morning, family. Well, it's not morning. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Morning for me. Please excuse the look. I literally was awoken. If that's the word, awoken. My husband just woke me up. He's uh, on his break. And um, he got inclined for the position, you guys, and I'm so excited. I think I explained this <coughs> when I was interviewing, but if you're new to the channel, or if this is your first video you've ever watched, then when you interview for a position at Amazon, if you don't do a good job, they, they don't think you're a good fit, you get an email saying you were not inclined. If you did good, they think you're a good fit for the job, you get an incline email. Now, incline does not mean that you get slotted for the position. An incline means that you were a good fit and you would do well in the role. So the next stop is you're waiting on an offer letter. The, here's the good thing about the transportation team. If you get inclined, you're inclined indefinitely. That means if there are eight people that interview and all eight people get inclined, but there are only three positions, then the three best fits will get those positions, but you still have an incline. That means the next time a position opens up at your site, or if there's a position open at any other site, you don't have to interview again. You're already inclined for that position. So that's what it is. So we got it, he got an incline, we got an incline. I'm so happy for him. And next stop is the offer letter. So I'll keep you guys posted. Today is Friday the 4th. So they said within a week, um, if he's slotted, he'll get an offer letter. So stay tuned. Hey family, is something wrong with um, the video that I recorded um, sharing the news about um, my husband's job? So I'm just going to come on here real quick while I'm editing and let you know that he did get the job. He started last Sunday. Um, so yesterday was Sunday. That's That marks his second week working with the Tom team. So he started last Sunday. He worked Sunday through Wednesday last week. And all they did was like um, trainings and policies and stuff like that. So yesterday he went back for this shift and they started hostler training. So now he's learning how to drive the hostler, how to move trailers around the yard, etc. Next week, he'll start on the same shift as I, as I work. Of course, you know, I work Wednesday through Saturday. So because we're husband and wife, we can't work the same shift. So that's why he's doing training Sunday through Wednesday on the front half. And then he'll move to back half but he'll be working from 11 at night to 9.30 in the morning. So he'll be working an overnight shift. And I will start a mid uh, mid 
day shift. I'll go in at 12 in the afternoon and get off at 10.30 at night. So we'll just be missing each other as far as work, but we'll have the same days off, which we are super, super excited about. Um, he is actually loving <laughs> the Tom team. He's a little apprehensive about the computer side of it because he's not really proficient in the computer part. Um, he All his life, he's um, done the physical, hands-on stuff, but never um, the computer stuff. So I'm teaching him at home. They're teaching him at work, and he is doing the best he can. Will he stick and stay? I don't know. I think he will, but so far, so good. He comes home refreshed. He's not tired. His feet not hurting. His knees are not hurting. It's nothing like it was on the shipping dock, and he's really, really loving it. So I just wanted to share this news and let you know what was going on with my family. I've been hinting about us working on both being on a schedule that will align with our lives so that we could do more things spiritual, and that is what it was. He came over to the transportation team um, with me, and he is enjoying it. So I hope you enjoyed the news, and thanks so much for allowing me to share, okay? Talk to you soon.